Hi guys, and welcome back to my Minecraft Let's Play. This is episode 1 after episode 0. If you haven't seen that, please go back and watch. It includes a tour of the entire base, as we're not starting from scratch, as it's explained in that video. Today, though, we're starting off on top of the board we made in the last episode talking about all the farms we want to make um, and I'm just going to clarify just one or two things first of all the gold farm want to get that done hopefully we'll start a little bit on today's episode I've gathered up some resources for that but also when uh, Minecraft 1.16 comes out and we get things like the, the piglins I know you can trade the gold to them uh, for certain things crying obsidian uh, netherite is it and, and things like that I, I, I don't know I haven't really looked into it too much um, but what I'm hoping is that we can sort something out with putting some of the drops from the gold farm into into some kind of system there so we can get some some netherite maybe if they give netherite again I'm not really sure um, and secondly the uh, XP farm Potentially not going to need. I, I did just think that the gold farm is going to be a hell of an XP farm, um, so that'd be that'd be great. Uh, we could we could use that. I don't know if anything else is going to be really an XP farm. Maybe the spider farm, maybe the creeper farm. Not really sure. Um, and then finally the wood farm. We're looking at spruce because that's what I've been using. You saw the big area over there, um, and that's what I've used for the builds and stuff. But hopefully we can get a design that does a couple of different um, types of wood and we can work from there. So another reason we're starting over by this sign is the storage system I showed you in the last episode. If we just head down here, you can see I've made a fair bit of progress down here. So I've got the floor, the glass floor in and I've got the pumpkins with the um, leaves on top. I know I don't need the leaves on top, I could put glass on top because glass is transparent, leaves are transparent. The whole point of putting the leaves on was because this was a solid quartz floor like that one down there before. But I kind of like it, I think it adds to the aesthetic a little bit. Um, I've also dug out all of these areas where the chests are going to be going uh, without a beacon, uh, which which is annoying, but I do have efficiency 4, not even efficiency 5. Wow, I thought I had efficiency 5. I did have an accident with the shulkers, which I think I've <laughs> said before. And I got some of the chests in, but the problem is I don't have enough wood for the chests. I mean, uh, well, let's have a look here. So if I were to, so I've got just under three stacks of wood and no crafting bench on this level. In fact, I will make a crafting bench. There we go. Pop it down here. Right. Chests. So out of those two stacks, I got 20 chests. Uh, it's, it's annoying. I know a stack of wood turns into... 32 chests, so half a stack, and I mean, we have, what did we decide, uh, was it, oh, 60, uh, 60 on each side, 72 with the 12 there, 81 on this thing, so it's 81 times by 3, times by 2, because they're double chests, so, yeah, I don't even know, I don't even want to do that math in my head, if someone wants to, feel free, um, so yeah, I, I did a bit of progress on this area. Um, I'm just going to get the last of these chests in in this side because I don't know if we'll have enough wood to do all of the chests. Um, I did some uh, chopping down of some logs in the wooded area that you saw last episode. Um, the only problem is now I think I've shot myself in the foot because I gathered some um, leaves for transparent blocks for the gold farm. Uh, we'll be heading over. Oh, see, look, I'm out already. Um, we'll be heading over to the gold farm shortly. Well, I say the gold farm, the area for the gold farm. Um, and yeah, I gathered up the leaves for it, which means that now when I chop down the trees to make these, I don't get as many saplings as I used to. So I may very well be short on wood for a while, which is why we need the gold farm. Do we need the gold farm? No, we don't really need the gold farm. Um, we need to build a tree farm, which is based on our bone meal requirements. Um, so, yeah, maybe a mob farm. 
maybe that could go in with a creep farm, maybe it could be a generic hostile mob farm, I'm not really sure yet. Okay, so that was all the wood I had on me. We've managed to get all the double chests in place on both these sides and then a couple of spare ones there. Um, I'm just going to dig back here so that we have access for when we need to do the item sorters and whatnot. Um, uh, that's too, that's annoying. I guess I'll have to go there. Well, this is going to be blocked up when all the item sorters and all the items are in anyway. So the reason I'm trying to get this top layer done is because I really want it to... Uh, where's the input? Input's there and it goes that way across those uh, silos, that way across those silos, and then drops down. And I kind of want it to drop down and then go that way, that way, that way, that way, and then drop down and repeat the same on the bottom, which is why I've not filled anything on the bottom, because I want to fill... From the start here, so this one will be diamonds, diamond blocks, uh, gold, gold blocks, and we're going to have to, I know when we get a gold farm, this probably isn't going to be enough for the gold we're going to get, but uh, we can turn it to blocks and store it there, and we can have a bit of storage over at the gold farm, kind of like the iron farm. Um, but one thing is the quartz, I'm a little bit short on for the outsides. Now, one way to get quartz is to trade it with a villager, is it the, the mason that does the quartz trade, I think? Um, yeah, for one emerald for one quartz or something like that. Now, that's not too bad off the price, the only problem is. A, getting the emeralds from these guys, not too bad because we did cure them up, but then the, the locking out of the trades, the stone mason, I think they all villagers, do they do two trades a day or three trades a day, a day or something like that? And they they refresh at specific times, so I can't get into those guys' uh, trades now. So this is all the emeralds I've got. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Just on cue. And then this guy. You might be wondering what these other guys are. This guy is a farmer. I think I accidentally traded with him before. I brought him over, so now he won't become a uh, librarian when I put a thing in front of him, so I'm going to deal with him when we get a big system set up. And this guy is a librarian, but I haven't had a chance to cure him, um, because I'm short on gold for gold apples, as we discussed, so we need to get the gold farm up and running. I hate navigating in this place, like, I think I need to terraform, that, that cliff there is just sheer overhanging, that side there that I've just climbed over is um, like a just a sheer wall and then there's this big hole over here that I always fall in and this look at that how am I supposed to get back up there if I drop down there I think I need to terraform this place to make it a bit easier to navigate so I'm over in the villager trading area and this guy is the guy that I'm talking about the block of quartz as I said in the last, last episode I really don't like the idea of changing the quartz you find in the nether uh, into quartz blocks because you can't change them back even if I was going to decorate with them and leave them there per permanently I still don't like the fact that you can't change them back um, I feel like it's a bit of a waste especially when you use them for comparators or daylight sensors um, so the fact that that guy always locks out means that I always have spare emeralds to, to spend unless he refreshes he's refreshed while I'm here okay so we've got 24 that's good um, but yeah, I always spend them at that cleric, and I think I'm going to get um, some librarian, a strip of librarians, a strip of clerics, and a strip of masons, and they're going to be the first ones in the... Oh, you've refreshed. In the big villager trading hall, um, they're going to be the first three strips. Let's see if this guy's refreshed again. No. I think they must, I think they, I don't know if they do three a day, but they must do them in bursts or something, but... You refresh a redstone one, so I'll have some more redstone because I'm always short on that. So I was just heading over to uh, the storage area to put the quartz in, and I thought I would show you how these um, storage silos work. So if I put 24 quartz blocks in first, because I'll need those redstone dust, lapis, spruce planks that's all the things we've actually got stored for at the moment. So if I drop down, you should be able to see this working. Ow. So they, like I say, they drop down there and go across there. So the first thing that comes in is the quartz blocks, which is here at the end. 
Uh, maybe we should have put something else in first. But everything's on this side, so you've got quartz on the end, you've got lapis next to it. Uh, spruce planks is there, and then redstone on that end. So if we just keep watching, we should see that the quartz blocks come in, and as they drop through these hoppers, they'll give a comparator output, which will set off those lamps, even though we're not actually filling it. There, there you go. So the, the quartz blocks are dropping through. Uh, oh, and you're getting the redstone because I put that in second as well. Uh, so th there'll be one piece of quartz block in every one of those comparators as they're dropping through. And then, yeah, we, they've all dropped through and the lights have gone off. Um, the redstone's coming through now. That'll probably turn off before the lapis starts. But if we have a look, yeah. Oh, 33. What? I had some in there. Oh, that's a pleasant surprise. I'm glad I showed you guys now. Yeah, so the redstone one's turned off now, so the lapis was in next, so that'll be making its way across and then start coming down, I, I imagine, sometime soon. Yeah, so you get the point. Oh, and the spruce planks are coming in as well. There wasn't that many of them. And then, yeah, like I said, when the hopper gets full behind, the redstone light comes on permanently. So we do need a lot more resources, though. <laughs> right, so let's get... Let's get the floor finished on the lower level. So... We don't keep falling through. Excellent. 27. 27, what shall I do? Let's finish this side because this side is the most completed. That's the ladder hole. Don't fill that in. Almost there. Great. 11. Um, let's fill this side. Yeah, this side in before we put the chest in. Oh, come on. Should have really done that with that side, it's going to be a bit difficult to get them under the... Well, not difficult, it'll be straightforward enough, just a bit of a higgledy-piggledy process. Yeah, get them in before we put the chests in. Uh, but yeah, this is my dilemma, so what do we need? Two, and then like 30, so that's like 60 there anyway. So we need over a stack, and we can only trade 12 at a time. That's, that's my problem. So, between the last clip and now, I was about to cave in and, and go quartz mining in the, in the nether. Uh, to fill those last bits in, because it's really annoying me that they're not filled in, but I'm not doing that. Um, I refuse. We'll do it gradually, but we'll get it done. So what I've done instead is I want to go over to the, the gold farm and collect some resources over there. But the problem is the gold farm is so high up in the sky on the roof of the nether, you can't even see it, and you can't put water at the bottom. Uh, the very first time I did it, I'd been on a terracotta finding mission, like, what, 5,000 blocks away, something like that, and I slept in a random village bed, and... That was my spawn, so I fell off the pillar that I made in the roof of the nether, died, and then lost my items. Um, so, and because you can't put water in the nether at the bottom of the ladder, I'm going to experiment with slime blocks. I don't know if you don't crouch. I think if you don't crouch, you bounce. But if you do crouch, you don't bounce. But then do you take damage? I don't I don't know. So I'm going to experiment in a minute after I've gone to sleep. So I've headed up here to this area, which you got, I talked about in the last episode, but you guys didn't actually see. Um, it was a... Um, Maseratic farm area, so this is the bamboo ones that funnel down there to power the super smelter. Uh, this is a sugarcane one that keeps breaking the sugarcane. And then this is the cactus and the bamboo one, uh, which I think is broken again. Yeah, it broke, it's broken the bamboo. Maybe I need to put the bamboo on dirt. Well, those, those ones don't break, I don't know why. Maybe I built them wrong. Um, but yeah, the point is that makes, there you go, lots of cactus, lots of cactus, but we've actually run out of fuel, which is why they're not doing it, but yeah, they auto smelt and then come through here and drop into this storage system, that was for burning the items, because now I got so many, you can see there, yeah, I've also burnt all of these double chests again, uh, of items, because there's just so many, you just get some green dye, um, but yeah, so that's that explained. So I'm going to drop down onto these. I'm not going to crouch the first time and see what happens. Okay. So if I crouch now, I take damage. Okay, okay, no, that's fine. So if I put these around the pillar of my nether pole, we shouldn't take full damage as long as we don't crouch. Man, I really, really, really can't wait until we get some durable elytra um the problems with the last one was i went to a gravel biome like three thousand blocks away and three thousand blocks back and i didn't put them breaking on them so they broke uh and end busting is a 
day in itself. Maybe we'll do an episode on that. But uh, yeah, we need we definitely need some kind of villager trading hall. It doesn't seem to be getting any closer as I'm climbing up these ladders. Can we can we just get rid of all ladders in Minecraft? And I might do one of those like retro minecart elevator things where you just click your way through them. I might do something like that. Okay, so now we're at the top. We're gonna head through to the Nether. And to be fair, uh, actually, I mentioned that I wanted a uh, mushroom farm for potions of weakness for curing up the villagers. But uh, I actually found quite a lot up here on the Nether, so I think we should be good for now. Maybe push that back a little bit. So as a lot of you know, you have to, you should really place down blocks to stop things from spawning on the roof of the nether, so I've got pressure plates to make at the minute up here to stop any spawning. Unfortunately, I wasn't that smart to put stuff at the top of this pole, so we may encounter some kind of gas or something when we go up there, I guess, maybe. Uh, let's put all of this like this. Um, when we get a leecher, this is no longer a problem, is it? But, I guess this side's going to be the one we're dropping down on the most, so we we'll probably do it up a little bit. Goodbye, ground. Bye. And it's gone. And I can't see the top either. Oh, I can see the top. Oh, that's fun. Not as high as I thought. Still death worthy if you were to drop off and die. So, so we've made it to the top. You can see I've gathered some resources. So I've got a lot of stone. Oh, stone and cobblestone, so there's spawnable blocks, lots of leaves that I was talking about for non spawnable blocks, all the minecarts, hoppers, and some a few chests. I should have really brought more, that would have been smart. And two stacks of slabs. So, the very first thing is this block. Uh, if you look sort of around here, if you can see my mouse on this pause screen, it says looking at block. So we're looking at block Y equals 246, so that is our starting point. So I just had to go all the way back to my base to collect some oak logs to make a trapdoor uh, after I came all the way up here, and I can confirm the slime blocks work. We can now drop down this thing. It still takes an eternity to climb up, but that's fine because we can jump down. Okay, so we want to put this uh, somewhere. Might as well turn all those into blocks, into planks. Uh, trap door, let's see if I can freestyle this. Hey, look at that. Right. So the very first thing is that I should probably say this is a design by Random G Games on YouTube. If I remember, I'll try and put a link to his channel down in the description. So first things first, we want to take the, oh, this top ladder off and then replace it with a trap door get one of our non-spawning blocks actually oh there we go do just hate when that happens uh, i'll actually get a full stack and we just pop it there so this is actually the standing platform that we're going to be standing on in the farm don't worry this will all be cleared by the time uh, we get around to it. So this is going to be a three ring farm. If any of you have seen some pigment farms before, there's, I don't know why I'm looking and gesturing into the distance. You can't see what I'm doing at all. It's a shovel and my, uh, my stake is waving around in the distance. Um, I'll stand up here. So in the distance over there, there are three rings. One, two, three, all on top of each other. The zombie pigment are on them. You hit them with something, a snowball or a bow or something. And, uh, and they all come and attack you because that's how zombie pigment work and then they die due to entity cramming and you get all of the drops and all of the XP. So I've just completed the first stage of the farm which is this first strip. 24 blocks from that center post, that's a reference block, the wood. Obviously I've said that's where we're going to be standing so that's coming off. 24 blocks of non-spawnable blocks and then the 25th is where you want the platform to start on a spawnable block and we have to do that in all four directions. I'll tell you, this is this is very scary doing this. Um, 
I don't. I think we're a bit too far out for our slime blocks to cover us if uh, if we were to fall to our demise. So I think that at some point I'd like to change the for glass when we have a few more resources because this is flammable. So if I forget to spawn proof and the gas a gas spawns, maybe in a little bit of trouble. But yep. So here we go. Here's the oh. That's the problem with playing on a, on a computer that's not great, yeah, like from time to time. I think we would have been fine with our slime blocks there, but but we would still prefer not, it not to happen. Um, so we, okay, so we've done the four here. I, we take this out and replace it with leaves uh, at some point, but we're, we're just uh, working here. So let me take this out. So this is our standing platform here. So don't worry, I'm not going to be doing a full-on tutorial. I'll leave that to... Um, Random G games. If I remember to put a link in the description, um, but I'm just going to do these short progress updates. So this is the first quarter of the inner ring um, that the pigmen are going to be spawning on. So then it'll go out that way. Um, I need to get the other four quarters done. I tell you, circle maths is so hard in Minecraft. Seven two two. Like it's just counting. I need to do seven then two four times, then one two times, then the center, but I mean even if I was saying that, that sounds confusing. So two, seven one time, two four times, one two times. So it's two four times, there we go. One, one, center. I'll tell you what, I don't think I've gathered enough resources for this because I keep losing the cobblestone. I mean I got it it's typically the the time I start recording is the time that I I grab the cobblestone. Yeah, but I keep losing it to the nether floor. So unless I wanna do a massive well I, I guess a jump down now we have the slime blocks, but a massive climb up for every block I'm I'm gonna need some more cobblestone. So I think later on in the episode I may very well try Try being the uh, the keyword there to do some form of time lapse. I won't be able to do a third person time lapse. I only have one account and one screen at the moment, but uh, maybe we could do it three, four. We'll come in round five to finish in six, seven. The first inner ring. Excellent, excellent. So, okay. So now I guess. Oh, we've already got a, a guy spawning. Hello. Oh, two. Oh, dear. Oh, oh, dear. Hello. Um, you guys aren't supposed to be over here. Let's see what we can do. Oh, my God. where did I put it? Ah, there we go. Brought some extra carpet I made when I was trying to grab it. Oh! Well, I guess we kind of deserve that. Although, that gas didn't really seem to spawn in the middle, did it? So, I guess it spawned on the outer rings, but how do I how do I combat that? Oh, let's hope it hasn't destroyed any of it. The gas... Oh, I was going to say the gas destroyed like shulker boxes and chests and things, but it's essentially... Oh, this looks... That looks magnificent, doesn't it? Wow. And it's only one ring! Right, let's keep an eye out for that gas. Uh, do they destroy shulker boxes and chests and things because I think they do, don't they? It's basically TNT. Please don't have set too much on fire and destroyed all my leaf blocks. Maybe we just got unlucky. I think it's despawned. Cobblestone doesn't break from ghasts. These don't seem to have burned. I don't know if I can... I wouldn't even know how to go about turning fire. No, we're being trolls. Turning fire tick off. Da, 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 da. Now, maybe you have to do it when you solve the game, which is kind of annoying. Yeah. Well, I guess we should probably. Sorry, 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 sorry do that at least just so that n nothing is bothering us in this central area and then as I was saying before I so rudely interrupted 
I mean, this is a good side to be fair, but as I'm saying before, I was so really enjoyed by myself just then. I think we should start on the outer ring now. Okay, so I was I was wrong. We don't build the outer platform next. Now, I, I've continued watching the video that I was talking about, and apparently it's easier to build the platforms from bottom to top, but it's safer to build the transparent... Oh, no. Good at this. Oh sh my fifty six levels. Oh fifty six levels. Oh, and I haven't even spawned in a very good place. I can't drop down here. Oh, what a mess. Give me dolphin speed. Yeah. I'm coming for your items. Is there such a thing as a rabbit farm? Is that a thing? I know you can breed them. I just, I need potions of swiftness, like constantly dropping out from every, every part of my base. Or can you get swiftness from a beacon? I'm not 100% sure. But that would mean we'd have to fight the wither. And I am not ready for that. I just got killed by a ghast. Excellent. All my stuff is still here. Let's collect everything good up. And then get the rest. Let's put this on. Excellent. Just seen these experience orbs, and that's from where we killed the guy. A gas tier! Is that. Oh no! Oh, it's gunpowder, isn't it? Oh. I didn't know gas drop gunpowder. Do you have to actually kill them rather than like return to sender to get gas tier? I don't know. Okay, so what I was trying to say. Don't fall off the ladder. Oh. What I was trying to say. Uh, was that it's easier to build the platforms from bottom to top because you're just essentially like pillaring up I guess but it's supposed to be safer to build the non-transparent roof first out of leaves which is what I was doing before that gas attacked um, and I don't agree that it's safe it's easier to build them from bottom to top because that's that's like twice in a minute that I've been attacked by a gas and I died the second time so I think, yeah, it's definitely going to be easier to build the transparent roof, and if you're watching this before building yours, I'd probably build that before you build anything, because I would just, yeah, build that first at, at world height. That's that's the that's the way to do it. Um, let's get up there. So if I pillar up, so it says I can't anymore. Get rid of that block and that block. Put it with a leaf and a leaf like this, and then just mimic what's on the ground here. And you know what? I think I'm gonna try my time lapse. Just let me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, time lapse time. So I don't know if you guys call that the end of the time lapse, I just cut it short, I got absolutely blasted by a ghast. Um, and it turns out that A, I'm really terrible at return to sender and killing the ghast, but B, I'm also really terrible at remembering I have my to put my bow in my hotbar so that I can actually shoot the thing, um, which was annoying. I had to come back and I had to cut the time lapse short to, and just finish this off camera, but at least it's done. Did you like my time lapse? Did you like my first time lapse? Was it good? That bad, huh? He might not be able to tell me how he how it was, but you guys can tell me. Do you prefer the intermittent progress updates that I was doing before, or the time lapse like that? I can do either. Hopefully, we'll see if the time lapse comes about. Um, or or yeah, I can just do the progress updates, or I can do the the time lapse. So you guys, let me know down in the comment section which you prefer. So next. In the video we mentioned, oh, there's an enderman there, we we'll have to be careful, oh, he's gone. Spooky. Uh, they won't be able to spawn when it's fully built because the platforms will be too high. But next in the video, he talks about making the outer ring for the bottom layer. But we've seen what happens when we get gas spawning, so I'm going to do the outer layer ring for the top layer. So, let's see. So, if we do one, 
so it's 20, 25, block 25 there directly on top, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And then for this one, we do it slightly different, we do 7 again, so it's not slightly different. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then we do 2 lots of 3, 1, 2, 3. Oh, I nearly broke that one when I stood at that. That I've never had my heart literally stop. Ooh. I really need to move a bed close to the nether portal, I think, and sleep there and rest. Okay, uh, so three, three, and then three lots of two. Two lots of three, and then three lots of two. You see why this is difficult for me to do? Huh? Uh, two lots of three, and three lots of two. Here we go. And then two lots of one, so one. Oh, two. And then the center. So that's the center. So if I build a block there, that should connect up with that center. And then we do the inverse. So one, one, two lots of one. And then Three lots of two. One, two. That message is really annoying. It's whenever I accidentally click on the top of the block. I think we just clicked a sapling, that's good. Uh, where are we? Two, two, two. Two lots of three. One, two, three. And then if I do one lot of seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, center, and then that should be 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25. Great, so that's finished now. So let's do the other four quarters, and then we might do a time lapse filling it in if we have time. I literally did the first quarter, so I've done the first quarter, we're on the second quarter now, and I've literally just done it wrong and had to take the whole thing off, just as I said, oh, let's get started. Well, that's not good. Where have I gone wrong? Oh, this should be a three. Oh, great, so... Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, dear. I found my problem, I did three ones instead of two ones, so it should be one, two, 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 and then one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, so, except for the first quarter, that was the only mistake I made, so I don't think that's too bad. Okay, so now I'm going to try, if I have enough leaves left, which I hopefully will, doing some kind of time lapse for filling this guy in, so I hope you enjoy. So, a couple of things. One, we ran out of, hell, of leaves. They're so annoying. It's because I've been using them as like the placing blocks for doing the diagonals. But we'll have to sort that. And secondly, because it's mostly done now, I can do this. Ah, you don't know how much finger cramp I've got in my left little finger now. Oh, oh I don't know if I hold it to the microphone. Can you hear it cracking? Oh, ouch. Well, anyway. Right, so that's done. I think, I mean, it's a good, it's a good sign we've got guys spawn here. Very good sign, but that should stop ghasts as we're building the outer ring. Okay, guys, so I think that wraps it up for today. Um, that's all I've really got time for. It's quite early in the morning, to be honest with you. Um, I've got to get this video. Put together i did say that on a reddit post that i would hopefully get another video out today um but 
yeah, I I hope you enjoy. We made some pro some progress, not massive progress on the story system. Once that's built, we'll we'll spend we'll maybe do a super episode where we just collect resources to fill all of our chests if we haven't already got enough. Um, and yeah, I think next episode we'll work on finishing this golf farm and see if we can get some drops. But I hope that you guys enjoyed. Uh, leave a like if you did, and please feel free to subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, but thanks, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.